Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe InDesign scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how you can change the color of your text in InDesign and we're going to achieve this by creating a custom swatch uh, with whatever we want to name it and then you can also use this swatch to change the color of other things that require swatch colors. Before we get started I do want to remind you down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel and down in the description you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there as well for coding updates and in the description you can follow us on instagram for other updates as well if you're not a member of our discord server you can join and can help us scripting extensions plugins expressions and much more join in our community get lots of help ask questions and join our other members as well and speaking of members if you want to become a channel member and help support the youtube channel at the same time and get cool perks you can become a member supporter premium supporter or vip link for that is in the description so let's go ahead and dive straight into this tutorial. The first thing we're gonna do is basically set up our document and read our text. So anytime in InDesign we wanna read our document, I'll actually zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna say just my doc. And since we already have one open, we're gonna reference the active document. So app.activedocument. Then in order to get these text layers, if I look at my layer here, I have a text inside of layer one. The way we can access these is by getting our text frames. Now our text frames basically reference all the text frames created inside of our entire project. So if I had multiple text frames, I would actually end up getting multiple responses uh, from this variable. But I'm just gonna say text frame is equal to my doc.textframes. Now if I go ahead and say alert text frames, I'm going to get an object called text frames. So if I go ahead and then check maybe the length of my text frames, you can see I'm just gonna get one text frame. But then again, if I duplicate this, I'm now gonna get multiple text frames. So if you have multiple text you wanna change, this is how you can access those by using all of the text frames and you can loop through them. So now we want to loop through all of our text frames, whether or not we have one or multiple. We're gonna say var i is equal to zero. And we want to loop through an array, so i is less than our array, our text frames dot length, increment i by one. Now inside of each one of these times through, we want to change the color. But in order to change, say, the fill color of a text frame, we need to actually use a swatch object. And this is represented by all of these swatches over here. You can see I have my old one I created. Let's go ahead and remove that. But you can see we have all these pre-default created swatches and we can also create our own using these CMYK values. So the way we can access these swatches is by grabbing our document. Each document has its own swatches. So I'll say my doc.colors and then we can check for a certain item. In this case, let's see if we have a swatch called paper. So what I'll do is say dot item and this is called paper. And let's go ahead and check. Uh, let's just alert this value. My doc dot colors and the item called paper. In this case, it returns me with a color. Now, in order to create a new swatch, what we're going to do is grab my doc dot colors and we're going to add something. We need to add a very specific object type with certain information that represents our swatch. So I'm going to copy and paste it here. It's an object surrounded by these curly braces, which has a name, a model, and a color value. So the name of my swatch is going to be my swatch. We can just call this, say, blue swatch. The model is going to be a certain type of color model. We have the option to do process, registration, spot, or mixed ink model. In this case, I'm just going to use process. Uh, I don't really know too much about this in particular. It's definitely a printing setting, but I'm just going to use color model dot process, the enumerated value here. And then lastly, we have color value, an array of our CMYK values. And in our case, we're just going to have 100, 0, 0, 0. We can adjust it in a second. Now, if I go ahead and run this, you can see now we have our blue swatch created. If I run it again, you can see we're going to run into an error because this swatch is already in use. So the way I'm gonna get around this is by creating an if statement. I'll just replace my alert here and surround this with an if statement. I'm going to check if my doc.colors.item blue swatch, if it's equal to null, 
then we want to add it. Basically, if it doesn't detect this, then let's add one. But if it does detect blue swatch, then let's not add another blue swatch. So if I run this, we create our blue swatch. If I run it again, nothing happens because we don't need to add it again. So now that we've created it, now we need to apply it. InDesign actually gives you very, very explicit control over which characters, words, and lines you can color. So if I go in here to my object model viewer and we're dealing with a text frame, so if I scroll down here to text frame, you can see if we look under, say, fill color, we can give it a swatch for the entire fill. So if I just go ahead and grab uh, text frames I, the current text frame we're looking at, set the fill color equal to, in this case we need to get my doc.color is called blue swatch. And then we, if we run this, you can see now it's going to actually fill it with a swatch. Now in this case, it's filling the entire text frame. So if you wanted to, you could stop here and say, I wanted to fill in my text frame itself. Or like I just briefly mentioned, we can actually change the individual characters, words, lines, and other text information with this swatch. So if I go ahead and comment this out, and if we look inside of our text frame object here, we have access to say, look here, we have words, we have, we should have one called lines, and these are actually a reference to all of the lines and words within here. So if I say uh, text frames I dot words and grab the first word dot fill color, that will actually just make our first word that specific color. So that's really cool. Uh, and if you want to be able to customize how you apply this to different things, we can just choose spe specific words or specific lines of our text. Now, in order to make the entire text the way we want, since we just have a line here, I'm going to say lines zero and set our entire first line to be that blue color. If you wanted to, you could go the extra mile and maybe say, create another swatch. We'll just call this my swatch. I'm going to set one, the first word equal to one of them, and then the second word equal to the other one. So I'm just going to change my CMYK, CMYK values here, uh, something different. And now when I run this, you can see we're going to get an error. Um, word one. Oh, I need to make this words. So now that I have words zero is going to be our blue swatch and words number one, the second word is going to be our other swatch. So now you can see we have two different colored words and our text and we can customize that however we see fit. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to change text color and other colors in InDesign. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Try it out for yourself and also follow us there for coding updates. And in the description as well, you can follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member, come and join our Discord server and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And you can become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Link in the description. Get cool perks and help us out financially. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.